I want to welcome in our next guest, former NBA champ and nine-year vet, Harrison Barnes. Welcome back to The Jump. Ooh. Thanks for having me. Always so good to see you. And I want to get right to your Kings because you guys are heating up. You've won four out of five. Only loss coming to the Sixers. They have the best record in the Eastern Conference. How has the team been able to achieve better results recently? What's clicking for you guys overall? Man, I really think it just comes down to our chemistry. You know, at the beginning of the season, you know, we had a we had a rough start. Um, you know, we're losing a lot of games there. And, you know, we really kind of came together as a group. Um, we started playing better defense, which allowed us to be in a lot more of these games. And we've been able to, to have a little streak going. Nice. And part of that, of course, is due to your own play and your teammate, Darren Fox, playing some of his best basketball in his young career, averaging 31 a game over his last six games. What do you feel has changed and clicked for him recently? I think for him, it boils down to his confidence. You know, this summer he put in a lot of work, not only on his body, but on his game. And as, you know, we've seen not only in these last few games, but really this season, you know, he's just playing at a really high level. Um, the consistency, late games being able to close for us, and, you know, just playing at really at an all-star level. Nice. Well, look, it's on the court that we're seeing developments from all of you guys, but off the court as well. I want to get to this, Harrison. I'm so impressed by it. We already know you're community minded. Last season, you were one of five players to receive the NBA Cares Community Assist Reward Award. But this season, you have been opening savings account. 500 kids total so far have gotten them in both Sacramento and Dallas, the last two cities you've played in. And for you, it was important to, as you say, build black in Sacramento, TL Marsalis Elementary in Dallas, receiving their first savings account. What it went into this decision and why is it so important to you? You know, I think it's, it's so important to, to give back. And, you know, when I look at my own life and the conversations that I had about financial literacy, you know, those weren't conversations I had until I was getting ready to become a pro, really. Yeah. So, you know, when I saw what Goal Setter was doing, um, when I had, you know, a conversation with Tanya just about, you know, what it, what they're all about and what their vision is, you know, it made sense for me to want to try to partner with them and give these kids the opportunity, one, to have that savings account, but two, to start learning and having these conversations about, you know, what financial freedom really means. Yeah, because there are statistics, right, on kids. If they have a savings account early, it changes how they look at really all of their financial decisions going forward and even has a correlation to education, right? Absolutely. You know, with the Goal Setter app, you know, there's um, learning tools that these kids can do and use um, as they continue to, to watch their money grow. So for them to be able to have these kind of conversations, to be able to look at their account, get these lessons at such a young age, it's just going to set them up for success moving forward. And, you know, these are tools that they're going to have to have for the rest of their lives. And for them to get started at this age is, is really important. Well, I love seeing you give back to the community this way. You're targeting black and brown kids, underserved kids with this initiative. And I think that is so, so impressive and, of course, important. I do want to get back to the court, though, because you have been making such a splash, Harrison. Your name has started to surface in trade rumors. You've been around the block. You know how this goes. Teams looking to add wing depth prior to the March 25th deadline. What is it like to once again have this starting up and hearing your name in these discussions? You know, coming to the NBA, you know, those are conversations that, you know, you're going to have every deadline, every offseason, you know, regardless of, of how good your team is doing. And, you know, it's always you know nice to be appreciated, you know, for your play. But, you know, right now my focus is, you know, on Sacramento, you know, where I'm at. That's all I can control at this point. And trying to be the best that I can for this organization and my teammates. Well, I know that the goal is a playoff push there. The team's last playoff appearance was back in 2006. That is the longest active playout dra playoff drought in the entire league. So it would mean a lot to break that. <laughs> Fill in the blank for me here, Harrison. The Kings make the playoffs if what? Yeah, I mean, if we continue to do what we're doing. Right now, you know, our goal is to make the playoffs, among other things. But, you know, our process has to start with how we approach, you know, our everyday processes. And, you know, at the beginning of the season, you know, we were we were taking some shortcuts. We were having a little bit of a learning curve um, with how we wanted to play. And now that we've kind of, you know, drew, drilled that and got where we need to be, it's a matter of just continuing to, to find that consistency on a day-to-day -day basis. And if we do that, I think we'll be in a, a good shape come end of the season.
Well, we'll be looking forward and watching and tracking it all. I think you guys have had such a fun ride the last couple of weeks. Good luck to you. I hope it continues. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.